Hey, Scorch. I hope you guys are doing well today. So let's see what's going on with my beautiful and my handsome Scorpio Collective. Um, thank you guys so much for your love, your support, your donations, and your super thanks, Scorps. I'm sending all that love back to you guys tenfold, okay? So let's see. I just saw your energy. You could be dealing with another Scorpio. Okay, so let's see. Spirit gods, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return and expel what any dark magic that is sent upon Scorpio and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones returning back to the center. Block any interferences that could be stopped from the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages for my Scorps. And protect me as I channel the messages for Scorpio. Keep seeing the Eight of Swords too. Somebody's like doing binding magic. Okay, in the death card, somebody's doing death magic, binding work, whatever the fuck this is, root work, who do, who do, whatever the fuck, do do. Okay. Mm, let's see what else. What's going on for Scorpio? <clears throat> Six of Swords in the reverse. Aquarius Mercury. So I'm here. I'm hearing slow and steady wins the race. Something is making slow progress here. This could be slow healing, slow progress. But I feel like you're you're healing from something. You're coming out of some sort of hardship with your feelings, your emotions, whatever had your feelings and stuff jumbled up, and you feeling sad or whatever. I feel like you're slowly progressing. You're slowly healing from something. You're slowly letting something go. Yeah. Let's see what's going on here for Scorpio. Okay, four wands. Yeah, so Aries, Venus here. So a celebration here, Scorpio, a new home, a new uh, contract here that's very fulfilling. This could be a housewarming. Some of you guys are also, you could be getting married or attending a wedding. This could be a strong twin flame union coming in or a higher level soulmate. So let's see. Okay, the Empress. Okay, towards Libra. So some of you guys are celebrating a baby. A baby could be coming in or this could be um, a new project here. You're pregnant with like new ideas here. I feel like you have a lot of support from your family or this could just be a lot of uh, support from your supporters. Some of y'all could be seen on stage. You could be doing something on stage here. You're announcing something. Towards Libra here with the Empress. Your manifestation, whatever you're manifesting, they coming through. Okay, the devil. Capricorn. So maybe you're scared that something is not going to manifest. Or somebody's trying to put fear into your plans here. Or maybe some of your habits or addictions or your shadow side is coming up here. Somebody's just obsessed with what the fuck you're getting. <laughs> Possibly. Okay, what else? The nine of wands, Sag moon. So I feel like your home or whatever this is right here is protected. Yeah, something here is protected, Scorpio. I feel like you're persevering through something. You're really close to getting something. There's something that you're really close to getting. What else? Okay, yeah, look, child, the page of cups under the empress. I'm telling you, some of y'all are pregnant or you're going to be pregnant. This could be a proposal. Some of y'all getting proposed to, you're getting married. Okay, or this could be like a date that you're going on or this could be like creative expression. Maybe you are an artist, you're a writer of any kind. You could be publishing a book. You could be some sort of artist. You could work in the beauty industry because this is definitely beauty, fashion. Okay, or whatever the fuck. Hmm, so yeah, I feel like you have good news coming in. Or somebody could, okay, the death card in reverse. Scorpio. I don't know why the fuck people like to call me when I'm trying to do this. Leave a message. Shit is annoying. Scorpio energy. So somebody here could want to apologize to you, Scorpio. They don't want to release you or let you go here. But I feel like you're protecting yourself or guarding yourself. But... Page of Pentacles. Some of you guys could be tarot readers, or you could be studying herbalism. You could be into the occult, esoteric knowledge with this Page of Pentacles. What's today? Oh, 
Okay, I gotta do something tomorrow. I just thought about that. <sighs> this week is so fucking busy. I can't wait till it's over. Honey, I'm so tired. Like, seriously. Yeah, I'm fucking tired. Like, I'm 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 tired. Like, I'm
Yeah, so I feel like you're honestly outsmarting the fuck out of somebody. This Seven of Swords is you outsmarting your enemy because the Wheel of Fortune and the Seven of Swords is right beside each other. This is good fortune, good karma. Somebody's trying to steal your fortune or they're trying to steal your ideas, your passions, whatever you're creating, they're trying to steal it. Whatever new solid opportunity this is, they ready, they rallying up a whole bunch of loser bitches that is on this bitch's dick to do something to you. And I feel like, bitch, whatever floats you hoes boat, <laughs> whatever this is, I guess. <clears throat> I guess. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, so what's the devil? The four of wands again. Somebody is obsessed with like, whatever you do, this could be like your platform. Somebody's like obsessively watching your platform or they're obsessively trying to block something. Like your money. Yeah, like or this could be like a union or something. What's the devil with the four of wands? The ace of wands here. Came out sideways. So yeah, I feel like you're really passionate about something that you do. Or this could be a passionate new beginning. This ace of wands here. This is like accepting a challenge. Okay, your creative idea is flowing or whatever this is. Okay. <laughs> what's this what's this for one something is very strong too there's a lot of chemistry here that you have with someone or you're just passionate about something that you're doing like what's the four of wands the death what's the four of wands with the death card scorpio and the high in the reverse oh okay taurus So I feel like you're going through a transitional phase right now, Scorpio. There's something ending and something else beginning. And I feel like you're celebrating the death card and the hierophant in the reverse. This could be like um this could be like some sort of dark cult or a group of people like doing something to you here. But this could also be you're doing something that's causing a lot of controversy. This is like you live in an alternative lifestyle. You're doing something that's causing a lot of judgment and I feel like you don't give a fuck. You're going through this transition and you're leveling up like you're always going to be doing anyways. Something is over with a, a contract here. The death card and the higher from reverse and you're starting a new one. And somebody is really obsessed with this new one because this is the one. <laughs> like this is the one and that's just what it is. There's a false leader or a spiritual charlatan here. Their job is coming to an end. There's a false karmic reader or false karmic leader here that shit is, is, is somebody's a false prophet that shit is over with it's done they're losing their job what's the higher for in the reverse or this is a government entity something is just falling apart with it what's this higher for reverse somebody here that didn't learn a lesson here this contract is over with their ass but yeah the two of cups in the reverse what's the higher from reverse two of cups reverse in the page of swords oh okay so there's a karmic couple that's watching you these could be two idiots in a very abusive connection together they're watching you or somebody you broke up with here is watching you somebody that abused you probably in the past that you had to over somebody's watching you overcome challenges obstacles difficulties they're watching you glow the fuck up on a bitch ass that's what it is and that's just period I feel like somebody here likes to play mind games. Somebody's like a player. They're playing mind games. Or they did play mind games here with you. Uh, but somebody just stalks you. Or somebody that somebody's in a relationship with does this. But this could be a couple. They could be together doing this. This karmic couple been coming out for so long. What's the death card? Or somebody didn't learn lessons in love here. They didn't gain the wisdom or whatever they needed to... to to glow up with you i feel like somebody here just moved away or you moved away from their ass because they're not learning they're not learning what's the death card the eight of swords oh, okay exactly yeah what's the death card eight of swords mm -hmm. in the center cuff reverse yeah this is this is a fake ass family dynamic either somebody is still holding on to like past pain or past trauma this is why they ask is this shit is over with or this is a karmic connection. Somebody's in a fake-ass family dynamic and they're trying to bind you. 
they're trying to bind you here to stop your blessings from flowing in so that way they can get it. So burning magic or whatever. Yeah, this, this, whatever, four of wands and the ace of wands here, this home or this family life that you're getting, somebody's trying to mimic your energy. And they're trying to like, I'm just getting, been getting this swapping shit all fucking day. Somebody is trying to build a fake ass family dynamic up off of your energy. Absolutely the fuck not. So that way you can be scared or nervous or whatever and things could end for you. But I feel like this they bitch ass. This eight of swords with that death card, things are ending for them. I feel like family secrets are coming out. This fake ass family dynamic is falling apart. Just period. But I feel like now they're stuck with each other. They're stuck with each other. They don't have to stay over there. Somebody here decided to join a cult. This is a karmic relationship here where two people, two idiots decided to join a cult to steal your inheritance, to steal your destiny or whatever from you. And I feel like now they ass is stuck over there with each other. They could have got this queen of swords in reverse to do this to you, to curse you, to hex you, or to do this damn magic or whatever this dumb shit is that they thought was such a good idea. Oh, okay. So what's the ace of wands? Yeah, the emperor in the reverse. Yeah, this pressed ass bitch. This damn emperor in the reverse could be an Aries masculine. Somebody that lacks stability, focus, structure. They ain't got shit going on. What's the ace of wands with the emperor in the reverse? So yeah, this is this fake ass emperor. For some of you, your whack ass baby daddy. Okay, because you're the empress up here. So this is your whack ass baby daddy or whoever that's trying to gain. Like they need some sort of energy supply with a fucking demonic ass. They need some energy supply. What's the ace of wands? And all this energy is going towards your fucking union. In your household and whatever they say that you're building. Now you have somebody here, Three of Pentacles, that supports you, that wants to work with you and help build. Yeah, what's the imprint reverse with the damn Ace of Wands? Yeah, Four of Pentacles, somebody that's penny pinching. This is someone too that's holding on to you for their fucking life because they need you financially. They need to they need your energy. Yeah. They need your energy. Hmm, cute. Hmm, very greedy, very controlling. Just the emperor in the reverse. What's the nine of wands? The world here in the knight of cups. Exactly. <clears throat> so I feel like there's good news coming in for you here. Or this is just you feeling whole and complete. This could be you dating. Some of you guys are online dating or whatever this is. But I feel like you have a lot of good news coming in. Yeah, somebody that's genuine with you. This new beginning is consisting of somebody that's genuine, that wants to offer you something stable, secure. They have genuine intentions. So this new beginning has started. And the Nine of Wands, I feel like you guys are close to a proposal or close to starting maybe a business with this person or close to having a baby with them or whatever. It's like, that's your destiny. That's where the fuck you're supposed to be at. So somebody has gotten a whole fucking family or whoever this fake ass bitch that they land up with to destiny swap or to fucking um, do magic on you to block you or whatever this is. Child, please. Y'all hoes will never fucking learn. Ever. What's the page of cups? The nine of pentacles. Okay, yeah. So yeah, this is like creative expression here. This could be a very successful business that's leveling up for sure. Definitely the birth of a baby. Some of you guys are pregnant or you're going to be. Yeah, nine of cups. Confirmation. Confirmation. This is a pregnancy announcement or an engagement announcement. One or the other. Or this has something to do with your fame, your recognition, your glow up as far as your work goes. Like, what's the, um, what's the page of cups with the nine of pentacles? Definitely nine, nine, nine is here. Yeah, the five of cups. If somebody is sad or whatever, they're in regret because you're free, you're happy, you're enjoying the fruits of your damn labor. <laughs> or you're getting ready to. What's the five of cups? Seven of pentacles in reverse. What's five of cups, seven of pentacles in reverse? Justice here and the nine of swords reverse. Yeah, it's time for somebody to fucking take accountability for their actions. It really is. Something is balancing out. This is your good karma. You're owed this. This is meant for you to have. So this bitch over here, I guess they, they now they stuck, they penny pinching. Things are definitely backfiring on this hoe. Because they're not getting what the fuck they were supposed to be getting, I guess. They're not. Somebody's going to have to deal with this toxicity that they didn't fucking conjure up for themselves. These demons that they didn't conjure up for themselves. This fucking narcissism that they didn't sit up here and they don't want to heal. So I guess now they're just a full-blown narcissist. I feel like, yeah, they're going to have to deal with that shit. 
somebody here could be nervous or whatever because a court case is going on or whatever but i feel like somebody's like frustrated things are being set back delayed and postponed and they know why too that's why they sit over here sad they know this is because of the karma that you're getting and they need to stop planning your damn energy they know that somebody here knows that you're owed something nice but they want to keep acting like that you don't deserve anything nice because they're a fucking narcissist and they greedy and they don't want to do the fucking work for themselves they want to take from you to please a bitch that they got laying up at home somewhere no honey bun that's not what you're going to be getting at all like y'all hoes is lazy you don't want to do work for yourself but you want to steal from somebody else no bitch absolutely the fuck not what's the death card reverse the hermit what's the death card reverse with the hermit virgo <clears throat> Seven of Wands reverse. Hmm, somebody here could be going to jail. Or oh, they ass going to spiritual jail. So yeah, this is like burnt out energy. I feel like somebody, you've lost respect for someone or, or these people are losing respect here in this fucking group. Because <laughs> they weak as fuck. They can't do what the fuck they set out to do. And that's what they get. But I feel like you didn't lost respect for somebody with this Seven of Wands in reverse. Somebody's just a loser they are yeah the page of pentacles reverse the, the tower reverse and the moon reverse mm -hmm. yeah somebody doing black magic to avoid towers or to stop things from happening in their life and blah 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 <laughs> bitch you didn't really get this tower what's the hermit <laughs> the fool what's the harm with the fool the trade in reverse yeah so something is out of control something is definitely out of control or somebody's trying to coerce somebody into doing something but this is like not having a sense of direction they don't know what to do without your energy now that you're free you're unbothered you're moving forward it's like they don't know what to do <clears throat> and i feel like you're moving in silence here but i feel like you're doing shadow work here too scorpio you're very enlightened you're very in tune or this this person here watching you Mm. Somebody here could be having car issues. What's the Seven of Wands reverse? Mm. This the Ten of Wands reverse. What's the Seven of Wands reverse? Ten of Wands reverse. And then the Five of Swords reverse. Mm. Five of Pentacles. Somebody here Temperance in reverse. Four of Swords reverse. Nine of Wands reverse. Damn. Somebody here could be sick as fuck. They don't feel good. Definitely broke for sure that and now somebody feels embarrassed or ashamed or whatever this is <clears throat> somebody feels humiliated mm. oh well <laughs> i feel like somebody shouldn't have fucked with you that's what i feel like somebody shouldn't have done but you know they did it anyways hmm yeah, divine connection, miracles, magic, and it's protected with brick wall. Something here is protected. They can no longer use, they can no longer try to tap into your energy to block you or distort you, distort your view of things or whatever. They can no longer use your energy to fucking level up in this fucking fake ass dynamic to try to make it seem like that they, they got wealth or they got money or they got this, they got that to impress hoes. I feel like, bitch, I don't know what the fuck they even did. Yeah, drowning, dead, and no way out, and the devil. Yeah, this person needs to fucking deal with it. For some of you, somebody's car is definitely fucked up, and their shadow side is coming to the surface so that way they can heal it. If they don't heal it, then they're just going to keep going through what they're going through. Them and this fake-ass dysfunctional family dynamic, that shit getting ready to fucking just be done for. And I feel like somebody's going to stay broke because they're not going to do the healing work. <laughs> they're just going to keep on trying to access your energy to help them out, and it's, it's, it's a no. <laughs> You bitches are not getting a fucking thing. So you might as well get ready to go to church, bitch. And get ready to go to church and pray about it. Because that's what y'all asking ready going to need to do. Yeah, betrayal, deceit, and jealousy. Exactly. Not talking, not listening, blocked. Exactly. And gift, reward, offer. Yeah, you're blocking out the, the jealousy, the, the the deceit, the mess. You don't give a fuck about none of that shit. You're focusing on whatever gifts you have, whatever offer this is. What's betrayal? 
fertility, good time, sexuality, what's betrayal? Disputes, conflict, pain. Okay, so somebody else, what I'm getting from this, doing a lot of pillow talking here. <clears throat> somebody here betrayed you by doing magic on you. I feel like they, they betrayed you by doing magic on you or somebody here betrayed you by sleeping with somebody you knew and, and got them pregnant for some of you. Or this could be like somebody here blocking your manifestations like they're blocking your sacral chakra with this fertility energy. Yeah, like they blocked you by trying to block your manifestations by using magic and taking advantage of your weaknesses. Yeah, it was not talking, listening, blocked boundaries your boundaries are being tested not surrendering standing your ground staying true to yourself and travel long distance travel wanting to escape a new adventure a journey to the next level yeah so this is you moving forward and you have your boundaries up your guards are up you don't block somebody for good you don't give a fuck what they're going through especially this whoever this emperor is in reverse they didn't fucking burn the bridge with you honey that's it's over with it's done you don't want to have shit to say to this bitch and if y'all got kids that's the only thing y'all gonna fucking say anything about <laughs> like you don't have shit to say to them. What's gift, reward, offer? Yeah, commitments, wedding, and next level in Phoenix. Rising from the ashes, being offered a second chance, the end of despair, and what was lost is being restored. Yeah. They know that you're they know that you are a good person. They know that you they know. Too busy trying to impress these whores. That's why your ass you and these bitches are sitting outside broke, ain't you? <laughs> like that's what y'all all get. Yeah, we got abundance here. Your arrival to abundance, financial blessings, reward for your efforts, and money flows easily into your life. Mixed emotions here, complex, bittersweet, in the reverse. And then we have woman. Yeah, I feel like this is you as the woman or you're meeting a woman. Period. Female friend enters your life. A female romantic interest. A woman will assist you. A woman plays a key role. Yeah, this woman here is going into this teamwork stuff. You can now delegate tasks. I feel like you have a partnership coming in that's going to be, it's going to make you feel safe. You're going to feel protected. You're going to feel safe to ask your person for help when you need it or whatever. It's just going to be a partnership. It's going to be a real partnership. That's it. That's all. That somebody was so desperately trying to block you from having with a weak narcissistic ass. Yeah, sad news. It's going to be a lot of that for you hoes. <laughs> disappointing message not what you wanted to hear something not going in your favor inconvenient truth and then we have learning feeling tested with a situation <clears throat> searching for knowledge further education or student discovering some truth and news notice information so somebody's getting a lot of news a lot of knowledge what's sad news throw it out cutting ties not good for you and then we have the past so the sad news is that you're really releasing the past and you're really letting something go so you're no longer tied to anything that's blocking your manifestations. You've done the work internally. And this person was hoping that you wouldn't do the work like they bitch ass. And that's why they don't have shit now or they're losing shit. Because what they wanted to do was stop you from getting your manifestations. And they wanted you to keep holding on to different things that hurt you, including them. So that way you wouldn't get something just like them. They want you to be miserable just like them. Choosing the wrong relationships just like them. And I feel like you have. You have chosen the wrong relationships, but you've healed. And so now they're upset. Like, yeah, oh, well, now I can't do magic on this person. They no longer have this wound that I can do magic on. It's no longer a wound there. It's closed. And they're, they've are they manifested, yeah, their soulmate or the person that they're supposed to be with. So now I got to Now I gotta do the shadow work here. Now I'm being made to, to do the shadow work. Or now I'm looking dumb in front of everybody. I feel like, bitch, that's inevitable. And you were going to do that anyway. So it's learning. Somebody thought they can use magic to like go like to to skip over the process of healing no you're not yeah loyalty trustworthy friends and then we have abundance exactly self-employed and business some of you guys are teachers here or something like that you've learned the lesson that you need to learn you have the knowledge that you need to have in order to manifest better friendships and better relationships what's news notice and information okay we got children Raising your children, helping or working with children, starting a family, emotionally immature behavior. And then we have single life here. Living your best single life, working on yourself, becoming more self-reliant and not settling for a bad match. Exactly. And I feel like you've healed your own childish ways, your own emotionally immature behavior. And now you could be going into a nice relationship. Yeah, serendipity. So you've done the work here. Somebody's like sad that you've done the work. They're jealous or they're upset. 
because you're not heartbroken like they sorry ass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got good news again. Messages, text, phone calls. Someone has something to say, needing to communicate clearly, be open to listening, drowning, dead in, no way out. And roller coaster, instability and ups and downs. Yeah. Somebody here going through it. What's this good news? <laughs> yeah, hope, spiritual ascension, and peace. What's good news here? And key. Yeah, opening doors to a better future, access to what was hidden, finding solutions, access to previously closed doors. Yeah, you're getting just a lot of good news. That's it. A lot of good things are coming into your life here. So what's drowning? Inspiration, hope, and hopes and dreams, and serendipity. Divine intervention, perfect timing, happy surprises, a fortunate stroke of luck. Yeah, you're getting all, everything that this person stole to try to create for this whack-ass family that they didn't set up here and try to manifest for themselves off of your energy you're getting it all back literally it's like literally what's roller coaster here yeah surviving <laughs> barely hanging on living paycheck to paycheck burnout is knocking on your door no savings limited resources and soulmates harmonious partnership a powerful love soul family or groups a bond that helps you grow yeah this person was banking on you not finding your soulmate or this person here is broke with a soulmate they with this bitch laying up broke as fuck and you're getting ready to step into a new life here <laughs> like they're with somebody that's their soulmate their karmic soulmate and it shows so what else Fear, worry, doubts, golden incubation before new life, and slow and steady, slow success. Don't rush. So some of you guys are really getting ready to give birth to a, a new, like you're welcoming a baby into your life here or whatever. Let's see, what's fear, worry, doubts? Home, safe, and family. And then we have up in the air. Not knowing where you stand, situation or decision still undecided, uncertain about something, lacking stability. So you could be worried about you manifest, you being able to manifest something is what I just heard, Scorpio. But I feel like, yeah, you're protected and you're being divinely guided. You're going to get it. So no need to worry. Or just somebody else's ass that's worried about something. They're worried about their stability, their security. Or somebody here. I don't know. What's incubation before new life? Dreams in the reverse. Vivid dreaming or dream messages. Reaching for your dreams. Your dreams are calling you the power of imagination. And then we have helping hand, favor, support. What's this dreams here? In the reverse. Higher power, choosing your highest good, aligning with your higher self, connected to spirit on the path of the divine and new life, healing and cleansing. Somebody could be trying to tap into your dream state. Okay. But a higher power is guiding you to a new life here. So make sure you're watching what you're thinking. With these dreams in the reverse, like make sure you, you're holding your vision with whatever your dreams are. Okay. Don't get discouraged. What's um, slow success? Don't rush. Yeah, playfulness, new love, and flirting. And then we have mountain obstacles and challenges, possible delays, patience needed, requires perseverance. Yeah, I feel like these are these people here going through obstacles and challenges. But you could be going through some too now because it's like, I don't know, you're worried about something or you're just transitioning. So it's like maybe it's a bumpy road. This transition is a, a bit tough but try to have fun while you're going through it because i feel like right now you're just purging there's a higher power leading you to a new life and protecting you what else building success yeah long-term wealth or goals and secrets moving in silence hidden factors lack of communication not having all the facts yeah manifestation Oh, okay, yeah, stepping stone. So you're keeping your manifestation quiet. Whatever this is that you're building upon, you're moving in silence. Yeah, dreams manifest into reality. Your manifestation is close. Getting more of what you want. Your manifesting power is strong. Yeah, so that's you. 
Oh, okay. So th this dreams in reverse. Yes, that's like the nine of cups. Somebody's dreams and wishes and hopes are shattered. That's why. Higher power and new life. Yeah, because the higher power is leading you to where the fuck you need to be going. This is your stuff. This ain't theirs. So somebody is worried about their stability and their security. They don't know what the fuck to do. That's because they didn't stole from your ass and you're getting it back. That's why. <laughs> that's why. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what that was. Hmm. I'm hearing some of you guys have children here. Somebody with this, whoever this narcissist is, this narcissist that try to take from you. You have children with this bitch. They were hoping that you would stay single, a single mom, a single dad. Why they barely probably did the bare minimum for their children. What the, probably the only thing that this bitch do is see their kids, and that's that's that, that's fine. Right? But I'm just saying, like, kids need more than that, honey. You know what I mean? Like, quality time is everything. It's, it's definitely better than just anything material. But I feel like somebody here uses these kids as a pawn. And they use these kids to make this bitch over here that they land up with to make it seem like they're a good father or a good mother. I feel like somebody sucks. And that's the real shit. Man or woman, somebody here sucks as an individual. Their kids probably don't want to be around their ass. But they got to keep pretending like they're a good dad or a good mother to make their kids want to be around them and to keep up this fake ass facade of this family dynamic like somebody's a fucking loser and that's why your ass is, is leaving the fuck they ass behind you leaving their ass behind so this was your reading scorps i hope this reading gave you lots of clarity like comment subscribe turn notification bell on press the all button so you won't miss my reads and i'll talk to y'all later bye